Welcome to the all new C7 Brotherhood. I am your boss, Freddy, and as you can see, I got my new HD PVR. So get ready for some high quality Raypads gameplay, guys. Today I'm using the MTAR21 with the flashlight or laser sight, depends on the map. Red Dot or Cobra, depends on the map. And foregrip because this weapon has a lot of horizontal drift, so the, actually the foregrip is kind of useful. Specifically to this gun, it's not uh, the same to all the guns. Uh, all the guns that have actually very high horizontal drift, muzzle drift, gets, uh, get benefited from the foregrip. But uh, weapons like M4, uh, M16 or weapons like SCAR or G3 don't get benefited. Actually get uh, downgraded with the foregrip, so do not even use them. MTAR21. Is it OP is the question. This is the review, kind of the review and impressions of the M tower that I did because, uh, but I didn't have an HDP or, or the footage, so here is the footage. I will review all the weapons and all the maps of the close quarters. I know it's kind of late, but I really want to give you a piece of my mind. I will make tactics videos. We will be up and running in about a week. I really hope you like the quality, guys. I will introduce uh, a couple of new series and I will bring back pro tips and tactics and true analysis videos. So it will be it will be great guys. The quality of this of the capture car is really great. Anyway, back to the MTAR. The MTAR uh, suits around 900 RPM. Ninja stop motherfucker. <laughs> I think that's stolen from Big Money. Big Money anyway. Um, the thing with the MTAR is it uh, has high RPM, a lot of horizontal muzzle drift and uh, in my opinion the engineer actually needed a high RPM weapon because the highest weapon, uh, highest RPM weapon they ha uh, the engineer class had was 9, uh, 800 which was the M4 and the A91 which was a pretty shitty weapon and in my opinion M4 it was the dominating weapon to use on the engineer class as the M16 is still is on the assault class. Anyway, um, is it is it OP? A lot of people kind of used it, but it has its uh, uh, big disadvantages with the reload time being at 3.6 seconds when the weapon is empty. So you will be needing your sidearm in this in this uh, situation. I use the 93R, which is a very great burst control burst weapon. You can actually snipe with that shit if you're a uh, if you're um, strict to your shooting and aiming. Anyway, um, I really like it. You will win a lot of one-on-one um, -on -one fights, except if uh, the other guy has a spaz with a backshot and shoots you in the head, which happened to me a lot of times, especially when the other player plays with 30 ms and I'm playing with 120 ms because I am from Greece and we always play with a higher MS with, uh, than the others, like in Germany or, or the UK, especially when the servers are in their in their country. So anyway, um, MTAR it will win you a lot of one-on-one -on -one situations, but it won't help you in the, uh, other than that, like on double kills or triple kills, because when this when this cannon, as I want to say, it starts shooting, uh, it's empty after like. One second, it's pretty empty. As you can see, like I barely sprayed that guy and used half of my clip. So, um, my favorite weapon for multi kills is K8 2002, which is a control burst uh, weapon for the assault class, and it actually has a little bit of horizontal muzzle drift. But if you put a nice um, Plus a pressure or foregrip, even a heavy barrel, it will be able to heal even four guys if you're kind of strict. Um, because all the bullets go at the same spot. MTAR kind of sprays, it's a kind of a spray and pray weapon. It's a, count, it's a higher PM weapon for the engineer class, as I said. And it's really good against the M, uh, P90, M5K. MP7, which is, in my opinion, MP7 is going to be the new OP SMG in the CQ. Uh, I started using it, I took around like 200 kills and it's pretty OP. Um, you, you can't really snipe across the map, but it doesn't really, doesn't really matter because we're playing in close quarters. So, 
Um, the magazine, uh, the, the magazine size on the AP7 is quite great. It's 41 bullets, and on the M5K with extended max is 31. So MP7 obviously dominates M5K. But I will make a review. I had, uh, I got some gameplay with the MP, MP5, M5K. I got some gameplay with the Spaz, and I got this gameplay with the MTAR21. I want to hear your opinions, guys, on the description below about the MTAR and if you're thinking it's going to be the new FAMAS. Uh, in my opinion, it won't be the new FAMAS because obviously it's not on the Assault class, it's on the Engineer class. And people tend to use the Assault class for obvious uh, reasons, for more points because of the healing and the revive and because of the, more, uh, of the higher damage long range, the higher accuracy with all the Assault rifles. Uh, MTAR is more like of a counter to SMGs, in my opinion, in close quarters. It won't, it won't like dominate um, in long range, like FAMAS, FAMAS foregrip and silencer used to be uh, when the when the Back to Corgan DLC came out. So yeah, is it OP? I really don't think so. Um, if a lot of people use it uh, in in, a, in the map or in the game, it kind of starts to be a little bit annoying. Um, in my hands, MTAR21, it's kind of OP because I'm a good player with like, I, 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 I have good score and good K and very like triple, th around 3.0, 2.5 KD when I'm using SCAR-L and AK in close quarters. So imagine what the MTAR can do in, with my hands. I, as I mentioned, this gameplay was pretty shitty and my KD was 3.0. I have like games that I obviously didn't record but I will get some gameplays, some awesome gameplays like this. Uh, like this that I played when I didn't have my PVR. Where I won like 30 and 4 and was uh, first MVP with all, all most of the flags uh, captured and shit. Anyway, uh, the gameplay is about to end guys. I really want to hear your opinion about the new quality. Uh, the new face of C7 TV guys with the high quality, we're gonna attract a lot of people to this channel. And as always, thank you, have a nice day, I'm out.